I don't believe I have to go here. Today's topic is over chivalry. There's not really much I can say on this one. Um, there really isn't. Because if... Uh, I gotta say this. I can't just put up numbers because I don't do those kind of researches. But allegedly, according to the news, chivalry is pretty much dead and gone because women suspect when a man does something chivalrous that there's an ulter ulterior motive. That's just how our, our culture has become. If a guy does something chivalrous, there's an ulterior motive. Now I thought about this for a while. I was like, huh, when I joined the military, I was still a good guy. I was a good guy before I joined the military. I joined the military. I was still a good guy. I still hold doors open for people. So, what happened to common courtesy? Now, at first I thought maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm looking at this too hard. Maybe I'm just seeing that common courtesy and chivalry just jumped off a cliff or something. Then I ran into a news article, thanks to a few folks pointing it out to me about a rape victim. It was a 16 year old girl who was drunk to a point of unable to really speak and she was trying to get home. She wasn't exactly walking home but she was trying to get home and evidently there was at least one cameraman and two football players who decided to go hey we're popular enough we can do this and they took advantage of the girl. I don't mean take advantage of as in oh we're gonna take our money and leave or rolling drunks as terms would go. No. They took it a step further and went for sexual assault. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it's been all over news at least since, I guess, Sunday. It's the 19th now, so I guess Sunday was what, 17? But three major news stations were sympathizing with the rapists because they're bright, young, upstanding citizens. They were football all-stars and... Okay, stop right there. Stop right there. Football all-stars and all that bullshit. If you're an upstanding citizen, the thought of rape shouldn't have even remotely jumped into your head. I don't care what your age is. It shouldn't have just been like, Hey, look, there's a girl unconscious on the ground. Let's go get her. <laughs> no, no, no. See, this comes back to what I started with in the beginning. Chivalry. Chivalry and common courtesy. Chivalry and common frickin... I'm, I'm, I don't want to cuss. I really don't. That's what I'm saying. Frickin. I'm trying to cuss this time. Even I'm, I'm agitated. I, I'm trying not to cuss. I'm trying not to. Chivalry. Chivalry's pretty much dead. When you're upstanding people, when your quarterbacks and your star students are the ass clowns who go around raping people? Wow, really? What the hell is sexual education in that school? I state all that because it makes me wonder. If this is what the star students and the football players and athletic clubs in general are doing what are the drags doing? What are the low group doing? What are those who don't have top grades? What are those people who are like the bullies and shit? What are they doing? If these are your upstanding citizens, if these are your football players and your high IQ motherfuckers, what are the low people doing? What? What are they doing? What are they doing? I mean, just put it in perspective. Uh, you know what? I think I have an example of how to look at this. We have common decency. 
I would say common sense, but I can't even say that because obviously there's no common fucking sense here. Common decency, common courtesy, and then of course, I don't know, um, I need a third example. Oh, I know. The general mind frame of people nowadays. Yeah, that, that should work. The mass ideal of what everything is socially acceptable versus common courtesy and general decency. views as a general public clearly don't really care about decency and chivalry and all that stuff anymore. No wonder people get suspicious when a guy holds open the door. Now, I'm hoping people actually disagree with me on this. I really am hoping, hoping, hoping. I'm not holding my breath, but I'm hoping people disagree with me on this. I'm hoping that there's a lot more evidence of people doing even common courtesy and chivalric things than being total jackasses because let's, let's face it, the news wouldn't report anything really good. They're gonna report only the most disturbing and asinine things they could find. Well, as long as they would get ratings. So there's JWR. Giving now, I guess, something to think about. Later.